the broader point is this, and, and you go to SeaWorld, you don't really learn much about the right. animals. Nope. Um, you know, you don't learn uh, anything about that, their life history. That's all by design. And right. so, and, and as it turns out, the zoo and aquarium literature, I'm, I'm talking about peer-reviewed scientific literature, it, it, it is not very indicative that guests really learn much at all right. um, from their zoo and aquarium experience. Now, I'm not saying that some education doesn't occur or some appreciation doesn't occur, but um, it, it certainly had been captured in the literature. You know? right. And there's been a lot of research done on it, and people walk away essentially having learned not much more than they came in with. Um, and, and so, you know, I, I'm pretty skeptical. Right. I'm pretty skeptical. Yeah, same. I, yeah, it's it's pretty insane. And like you were saying, they're they're good marketers. It, you know, they're genius. Yeah, they are really, and they're good at circulating the information that they have kind of invented about these animals. And in the movie has been all of the young people now that are, that are on board and and they're energetic. They're asking, you know, what can we do and how do we make change? And so. I think this issue has tapped into the energy and, and, um, and strengths of, of the young folks in our country and probably all around the planet. And man, there's nothing better. That's really exciting. I think that's what we all have hoped for. And you know, the, the million dollar question is, what can I do? Um, and so, uh, and you know, there's so much energy to be tapped um, through the young folks. Um, and what I tell people is, you know, first of all, you got you have to do some research and you have to be uh, educated on the topic so that you can speak intelligently um, about both sides of the issue. Um, and then if you continue to feel strongly about it, then it becomes your responsibility, uh, really, as a, a global citizen to, to do something about it. And, and that something can be a lot of different things, you know. Um, one of the things that's very simple is just don't spend your money at places like SeaWorld. Um, and, and so that becomes a, a way of voting with your wallet. Um, and that sends a clear message to people. And then, you know, uh, social media is uh, this amazing um, phenomenon that, that young people know how to manipulate and they're very good at it. Um, I'm not a social media person, so uh, I, among my many weaknesses, that that's one of them. But young people are totally dialed into that, and um, and so this becomes a platform. Everybody now on the planet has a voice. Um, uh, YouTube is a great platform to 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 post things um, professionally or otherwise, and so I think there's all these outlets. Um, you know, start a blog, um, write to uh, your elected officials, um, uh, have blackfish parties, and and disseminate the information. So I guess. Broadly speaking, if you continue to believe uh, that we should make change, then it's kind of your responsibility in whatever small part you can play. In, uh, in doing something. What part of it you can play? Absolutely. It definitely, it's, it's, a, it's a snowball effect. Seems like it. I don't know. Of course, I want to think that. But, right. <laughs> you know, but I yeah. I think we're all maybe a little. Actually, I don't think we're biased. I think we're all pretty realistic on kind of right. where the landscape, what, what the landscape is, and and, um, and how things may or may not go down. Yeah. It's a difficult fight. There's a lot of money involved. Definitely. Yeah. John, what did you think of that uh, IPA last night at the uh, tavern? Uh, I was underwhelmed, but not grossly underwhelmed. And what would you add? Uh, for example, as an ingredient possibly to the beer that they were serving last night. Mm. It's this thing called hops. <laughs> <laughs> you set me up. <laughs> <laughs> Preferably like a uh, Chinook hops or something <coughs> from the Pacific Northwest. Sounds Maybe from your yard. <laughs> Sounds good, yeah. We'll have to harvest some of those soon. Yeah. Yeah, I guess like hang out with her a lot in the med pool. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, I, 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 a great a great part of my uh, experience at SeaWorld was one day um, Mark Simmons and I opened uh, at six o'clock, and when he was there, and you know I was pretty new, I, I didn't know, you know I was pretty still, still pretty clueless, I'm still clueless even today, but um, 
And so Mark said, hey, come out here. Let's do something. <coughs> said, All right. So, you know, to Mark's credit, he looked around and nobody was in the stadium. It was totally safe. It was 6.30, 7 in the morning. And he said, get in the water with her. And uh, so I, you know, I spent 30 minutes in the front pool with Winnie. You know, and, and I'm like, oh, it's cool. <laughs> and so... Um, and we never told anybody, you know. He was John, just, I'm going to publish this. <laughs> You're going to get written up. Yeah, it's great. You can get written up. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. It's, it's really fun experience. And of course, Winnie. You know, she's like, yeah. the, the picture that's being circulated oh of me, gosh. all the, whenever they put me, whenever they use a photo for for, um, for news stuff, you know, on TV, I have a, I have some photos that are posted on my Flickr account. Right. So I just, so anytime anybody interviews me for. Um, a, you know, TV show, they say, well, do you have pictures of yourself? And I'm like, yeah, I don't have any of me with the killer whales, but here you go. And so they generally pick a picture of me in the water with Suki, one of the one of the false killer whales. And that was taken on my last day when it was totally illegal for me to go in the water with the false killer whales. Oh my God. Right? Yeah. Nice. And I think it was like, but Jeff and then Robin West were like, get in the water with Suki. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So those two pictures are totally illegal. I should not have been oh, in the water. Okay. That's I, was not, I did not have approved water work. So that's all, all over there. Oh <laughs> my God. Approved water work with yeah. the false killer whales. Oh, that's funny.